Hey everybody, Steve Colscott here, EliteFTS.com. We're in our third installment of uh, a discussion we're having with, uh, with two of the, the IFBB pro athletes from Nutrix, Mark Dugdale and Zach Kahn. We're going to be talking about nutrition this time. So, uh, you know, to, to start off with this, Zach, um, in your off-season training, um, how do you set up your eating? How many meals a day? And do you, do you, do you uh, control your macronutrients in the off-season? Basically, I don't really worry too much about the macronutrients. I just uh, worry about getting enough protein per meal and enough carbs. And stuff like macronutrients is more comes down to a pre-contest. You know, you need to shake up your diet a bit and find out exactly, you know, to keep your energy levels high so you put the good fats in and, you know, add more nuts into your diet and stuff like this. But like off-season, I keep it basic. I try to have like eggs for breakfast. I have chicken for one meal, I have beef, you know what I mean, I have white fish, you know, I have salmon, stuff like that, so I try to have different types of protein and different type of carbs, like for breakfast, oats, dinner, you know, brown rice, sweet potato, you know, whole grain pasta, you know, and like, you know, after workouts I have like, you know, fast acting carbohydrate, and you know, just make sure I get a full amino acid pool from the different you know, food chains I have, instead of sticking to the same uh, meal six times a day, what some people tend to do. Okay, she so said six meals a day, are, are those all whole food or some of those shakes? They're whole food, the only time I have a shake is uh, after training or if I'm on the road and I need to have a quick meal so okay. for convenience sake or if I need to uh, add extra calories in, then I'll just bump it up with a shake or a supplementation. Okay. Mark, tell us a little bit about how you break down your, your daily uh, meals. Off season? Off season. Season. Off season um, similar to Zach, I don't, I don't keep track of you know, macros to a T. Um, I tend to eat pretty much the same thing every day. Um, by that, I will switch up you know, my protein sources. Uh, but so I, I largely know, you know about what I'm eating. Um, it's when you get to pre-contest that everything is weighed out and very accurate, so you know, you know how to adjust. Um, I have about I have uh, four meals a day, whole food meals. Um, usually two or three shakes. Um, but I would say almost a third of my daily calorie intake comes from the time I leave my house to head to the gym till I'm done with my workout. I, I'm drinking fast-acting carbs, fast-acting protein uh, that entire time, um, which is a total departure from what I used to do because I was a low-carb guy and, you know, branch chain aminos was the most I would get during the workout. Um, so that's that's been a huge change. Um, but I think that's the only way I can survive Jones workouts uh -huh. and do it and train seven days a week. Uh, but those four meals, you know, uh, whole eggs, um, I'll make sure I've taken in plenty of fish oil every day, bison, lamb, um, chicken. I'm not a huge fan of fish. I do try to eat salmon occasionally. Um, but I'm into, you know, whole foods, organic foods. Um, anything you can do, I think, to minimize the toxins or stress that you put on your body because what we do in the gym is, is a big enough strain on it. Um, so anything else you can do to minimize that, I think helps facilitate growth and recovery. So that's okay. my approach. On, on a lot of the videos that you put out, I've gotten some really good nutrition information um, and, and stolen some of the ideas. The one thing I like is uh, the egg whites, the little uh, one pint thing of egg whites okay. make a good snack. Yeah. Um, I was thanking Christina for the, the quiche recipe. I have that in the fridge so I don't have to cook breakfast. I just warm that up. Um, so people might want to check that out. And, and, uh, and, and on your, your uh, logs, there's a lot of that information. Yep. Um, Zach, uh, on your off season, how do you change your, your nutrition? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm sorry, when you, when you go from off season to pre contest? Yeah, sorry. pre contest is like I'm more like way more foods and more accurate. You know, the time of the foods when I have them. So I need to have more like slow releasing carbohydrates throughout the day. You know, like brown rice or grain rice. And you know, like before the, what's it like, before the, uh, going to the gym, fast acting carbs, 
fast acting protein, what I'm training, you know, BCA, you know, glutamine, creatine, stuff like that, you know what I mean, throughout working out with a, a lot of vitamin C to clean up the toxins. And straight after my workout, I will be having, you know, like, you know, fast acting carbohydrates like Volubro from Nutrex uh, with the, uh, with the uh, BCAs as well, and then top it off with a protein shake, you know, stuff like that. But everything will be weighed out, everything will be, you know, at on time. Nothing will be late or anything like this. So, okay. so my body is in a routine, expecting that meals at them times. Okay. Do you do you have any idea of the numbers that you do as far as calories? Or? Yeah, I will be eating uh, around four thousand calories. You know, and I'll keep the protein same throughout all my diet. Only thing will I be changing will be the carbohydrates and my cardio. So if I if my cardio reaches uh, forty five minutes, then my food will start decreasing a bit in the carbs. Simple. And that's, the, that's the two things I need to change. Do you, do you give uh, breaks from your diet just to keep yourself from getting burnt out? Not really breaks, but like I said, I do have like, you know, like an earned meal. I don't call it a cheap meal, I call it an earned meal because if I've been following the diet all through the week, so one meal a week where I will eat what I want with my friends and family, mm -hmm. just to give that normalization and give that, you know, uh, just take a bit of stress off myself and give some family time to, you know, my friends and my family, of course. And that usually keeps your metabolism from crashing, too. Yeah, as well. more than anything, it does you good because mentally it gives you a bit of, it gives you some taste buds as well, and, you know, it just fires you up again for the next week. Okay. Yeah. Mark, what do you do? How, how do you make that adjustment from off-season to, uh, to a contest diet? What type of things come into play? Yeah. Um, well, this time I'm doing something completely different, so okay. um, I guess we'll see if it uh, how it pans out in New York. Um, I mean, I've been a low carb guy um, since 2009. I mean, when I would diet, 50 grams of carbs a day was mm -hmm. the max. Um, and I actually don't mind a diet like that once you, you know, as Pasquale would say, become fat adapted. Your body mm -hmm. preferentially burns fat, and um, you don't have to swing in blood sugar and mm -hmm. You know, I did okay on a diet like that. Um, this time around, um, there's so many carbs in my, my intra-workout nutrition, um, and I don't think I could eliminate those. So um, that that's the biggest change. Um, the carbs throughout the rest of the day, basmati rice, that's like the only mm -hmm. carb I'll eat outside of vegetables. Um, and I'll just start slowly pulling that out um, of my diet. Um, John isn't doing my nutrition, but we definitely talk a lot, mm -hmm. and this was his approach that he did um, as you pull out the other carbs, but always keeping the carbs in during the training sessions. Um, I mean, he didn't, he didn't even do cardio when he did Masters last year, mm -hmm. and he was hard as nails. Um, he, so, he, doesn't, he doesn't lose that year round all that much, though, either. He, he stays lean. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Um, so um, that's kind of the approach that I'm... I'm taking this time, um, and you know, I guess we'll we'll see how it goes. I mean, at this point, I'm eating 500 calories more than I was on previous diets, um, but I'm training seven days instead of four or five. Doing no cardio though this time, um, and my weight's about where where it normally is at this point. Um, this many weeks out from a contest, so. And training the way I have the last year, I would think that it's human, inhumanly possible mm -hmm. that I wouldn't have, that I would have lost any muscle if not gained. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm assuming I'm leaner at this weight, um, and you know, so I feel good about at least the progress I've made thus far. Excellent. Let's talk a little bit about uh, your nutrition right before, during, and after the workout. What do you, what do you do? Yeah, before the workout, I will have you know a Hemo Rage shot. It's a pre-workout drink. That's like it's, a stimulant. Yeah, stimulant. It just gives you that you know, you know, mental focus. You know what I mean? Get your aggression going a bit. And uh, I'll have some uh, Defy, so BCA powder form. So I'll drink that before you know workout and sip it while I'm training as well. And if I want to up it a bit, I will have some like between every couple of sets, I have some five five BCAs. You know, what I mean, just keep popping them through while I'm training. And then after my workout, I'll have some fast acting carbs, like Volubro, 
Hey, so I said, I can instant, your body just soaks it up, so you know. I That's okay, I like that stuff. And yeah, so yeah, I have about 60 grams of carbs out of that, and then about 15 minutes later after that, uh, I'll have some uh, muscle infusion protein, I'll have 50 grams of that. So I give my body time to suck up the carbs first, and then after that, we'll, we'll basically get some protein into me. You, you have a whole food meal uh, after about, that? About an hour after that. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. That's what my, you know, while I'm training as well, I'll have some um, dissolvable vitamin C in my drink as well. Mm -hmm. That just helps, you know, clean out your toxins out your blood as well, so I do that. Okay. Mark, what's your, what's your approach to that? If I'm training, I mean, at this point, I, I try to stick a, stay away from um, any sort of stimulant, you know, the Hemorrhage or the Lipo-6, uh, but as I get closer to the contest, I will add that in. Um, the workouts that I do at night, um, I definitely don't take that, otherwise I can't sleep when I get home. Um, but for me, it's all about fast-acting carbs, fast-acting protein, um, starting 15 to 20 minutes before the workout, going all the way through the workout. Um, I can have upwards of 150 grams of carbs in that period of time um, and 80 grams of protein. Um, some, some products that Nutrex makes that I really like is Niox. Um, I take that pre-workout um, for the pump. Uh, Volu Grow could be. Could That's a nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. uh, Arg is it, what is it? Arginine. Yeah, all those products okay. that facilitate the pump while you're training. Okay. Basically, opens up your veins. Yeah. So basically, you're pumping more blood around. Okay. So. And then the theory, you know, being the protein and the carbs. In your system, you know, liquid fast acting while you're training, you're getting that, you know, to the muscles and um, inhibiting breakdown mm -hmm. as well while you train. Um, so volume grow, I guess, would fit the that bill for for a carb. Defy um, has branch chains, aminos, and glutamine, and, mm -hmm. and that stuff in it um, as well that you could take. Um, but yeah, those Niox and, and volume grow would probably be the best things to take. Okay. pre and during workout and then you know with that many calories and carbs and protein in my system honestly when I'm done working out I'm not even hungry you know okay. so when do you when you taking your next your next food intake usually within an hour okay. and, and I'll just have a whole food meal um, and then at that point it's time to hit, hit the bed so okay excellent well thanks guys appreciate it yeah thank, thank you, you.